anatomy of a woman than the anatomy of a man. So the, let's look at the anatomy. When we talk about anatomy, let's dissect the woman. As a man, please take note of the following things. This is where I'm going to close. Anatomy of a man, of a woman, then anatomy of a man. Number one, a woman is likely to misbehave when she experiences emotional deficit. We are dissecting your wife now. Why is my wife always like this? Why is my wife? I'm telling you the reason. Once there is emotional deficit, once her emotional bank is empty, she will become a drag. She will be annoying you. Therefore, don't wait till there is a problem before you make deposits. You are beautiful. A woman is affected by what she hears throughout the day. She, I'm beautiful. That's a woman for you. Go to the bank and see a woman. Say, you are beautiful. Oh, hey, thank you, sir. Thank you. That's what she'll be thinking all her day. So, say that to your wife. Marriages break today. Psychologists have discovered that because familiarity creeps in. When last did you wake your wife up or before she go, went to bed and you told her, I remember how you were there. I just want you to know that I appreciate you. There may be many women around you, but I want you to know that you stand out. Sometimes in church, my husband would do that. He would squeeze my hand. You would think he's giving me an instruction for this. No, he's telling me how beautiful I am in his eyes. He would say, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but this one is universal beauty. And I'm feeling at myself, look at me. I love you. Emotional deficit leads to problems in marriage. A woman wants you to tell her, but if I don't love you, will I have married you? That's not the point, bros. Bro. That's not the point. Tell her regularly. I love you. Whisper to her earrings. Sometimes my husband will take my eyebrow pencil or a piece of chalk and he will write it on a, the bathroom floor. I love you. Sometimes on my birthday, he will wrap gifts, put in washing machine, put under my pillow, drop a check here. And then he will do a video. And I'll be playing it. Check under the pillow. I will go. Check something, something. Check, check, check. Addressing the, the girl in me. Yes. Marriage is work. Or it's worth it. Do you know that Zipora ran back? It was Jethro that brought her back with the children. She even told the husband, like, you are a bloody husband. Some of you, you are so busy, you don't have time for us. Some of, some of you, your wives are in pains. They are lonely. They don't know who to trust. They can't talk to people. And you are not there. Massage her. Put your hand on her head. Touch her. And say, I don't even know what's wrong with you. Look at your breast. Were well, you not the one that sucked the breast? You and your children. Is that the way she came with the breast? You see why I said we should have just couples. Something. <laughs> Women have mood swings. Their period. Their cycle. Be a father. That's why you are there. Be a father to your wife. <laughs> the second thing I like to say is that a woman is a multiplier. So be careful what you sow into her. She doesn't only have the womb. That womb is not only for bearing children. She multiplies. If you sow love to her, she multiplies love to you. You, show, you sow frustration. She will show you that she's a B. B-E-E. She can sing and she can produce. Ask Pastor Abraham. Then Sarah, I used to call her my lord, my dear husband. The day she showed the other side, he guy fled. Every woman is like that. She's a multiplier. A woman, number three, responds to words. So watch what you say to her. Number four, you can win an argument with a woman, but you cannot win the war. So there's no need to bother yourself. There's nothing a woman cannot get from a man using her skills. Body. 
emotions, persuasion, manipulation, sex, lullaby, praise. There's nothing a woman cannot get. Therefore, be careful with other women. Women are very powerful. Go and ask something. If you are married, flee. Don't say, ah, it's a, one woman wrote a question during that program. My husband is a man of, no, it was the man that wrote the question. That, my wife doesn't dress well. She says, I am a man of God. I said, it's first a man, then of God. First Samuel 16. Man looks at the outward door. So all this dressing as if nothing is at stake. Forget it. You better top up your game. It's important. So as a man, I come from a background where we were not allowed to wear jewelries and um, makeup. And this scarf that you find on me today is a sample, is a reminder of how we used to tie it then. In fact, when they saw me in church, they said, ah, mommy, I, say, I just want to be unpredictable. I just remember by these rivers of Babylon. <laughs> Nothing more show. That's how we used to tie it. My husband will buy what he likes and hide it under the car seat for me. So I didn't know how to dress. The first time I put on earrings, my husband said, earrings, my husband said, you look like a woman. Can you imagine? And that was after 10 years of marriage. So it has been a man married to a man. So you cannot, I cannot wear, I cannot wear makeup. Oh, eh? And your husband is committing the sin of lucre everywhere. Hi, hi, baby girl. Hi. You know. And here you are, like an old cargo in the house. Please, don't. There's no way we can finish this message. So, let me just mention a few things about the anatomy of a man. There are so many things about a woman. No? A woman is security conscious. And you are making love to her. She's asking you, is it Lord? Then you say, look, I'm going to a full time. But I want to do she's asking you, how are we going to feed? It's not her fault. It's because she's a woman. A woman speaks more words than men. Genesis chapter 3. Count it. King James's version. The serpent spoke 14 words. Eve replied 44. Women remember details more than men. Women are more romantic. Most women are more romantic. So when your wife is touching, hey, leave me. I want to pray. Pray. That's why you are married now. You pray later. In fact, it will help anointing. Men planned around their immediate family. Women include their parents in the budget. Let's go to the man. The anatomy of a man. Men are wired to be rational. If it doesn't make sense, forget it. Why? How much? They are deceiving you in that church. Oh. That's a man speaking. A man is not easily moved or persuaded. He wants proofs and evidences. So, don't think my husband is so difficult. You shall must present the receipt. He's a man. There's a way you walk around it. Most men are egotistical and territorial. Women too are, ah, but most men. They say you don't want to, you know, don't want to hurt his ego. Men are few words. Most men. In fact, psychologists discovered that every day a man speaks. Maximum, forget about preachers. We preachers, you know, no. we're talking of uh, all things being equal now. A man speaks 25,000 words per day on the average. A woman speaks 250,000. <laughs> Leave it there. Come here. Bring your brother. The man looks. He's telling you, I'm watching Baka. That's what he's saying. He's not speaking. So, men are risk takers. Hey. The woman would say, let's go. It doesn't matter. Let's go. I sat in the house a few years ago and my two sons slotted in a video and I was watching. What did I see? The two of them. They went to the US. They were back. Oh, they were sitting with me while showing me that video. But they were skydiving. I started crying, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know too. what did you do with your brother. He said, Mommy, Mom, we are here. Now she be with our I said, 
You did this? Do you get the point? I had forgotten that they had even gone and come back. And that they were alive. That's men. Whether they are small or they are big, they are risk takers. And they have the tendency to be domineering and independent. When a man is broke, it shows. So, understand. And men hate nagging. Tell them what is wrong. Stop nagging. Men don't like 